Amanda and today I'm going to do my Rainbow Thon wrap up. So I chose six books for my Rainbow Thon TBR originally and I ended up switching out two of the books for different books and I will show you that in just a moment. So I'm going to show you what I read and how I did and what I thought of the books. So for the red book I chose Trance by Linda Gerber and I did not really like this book. I gave it two out of five stars. It is about a girl who gets a, goes into a trance and has like a premonition that something really bad is going to happen to someone. This has happened in the past and when this happens, something really does happen to the person she sees in her premonition. And I thought it was going to be a series of different trances, but she goes into trances and it's always for one person that she sees that one event that's going to happen. And I felt like it was a lot of buildup and not a lot of payoff for the story. I also felt that it was very predictable. So two out of five stars for this. Then for my orange book, I originally was going to read Eye Contact by Cami McGovern, but I just wasn't feeling like I wanted to read that when it was time to pick it up. So I decided to read another book that was kind of orange. My husband disagrees that it's orange, but I think it is. I chose The Man from Primrose Lane by James Renner, and there is, I'd say that's orange. Anyway, I started this book, and at first it was very good. It's about a man who lives on Primrose Lane, and he wears mittens all the time, even in July. And one day he gets murdered. And it's one of those stories in a story. There's the story of the man, and then there's another story of a man who lives nearby, who is a crime writer, and he decides to write the story of this man from Primrose Lane. And he has a very checkered, colorful past of things that have happened in his life. I was really enjoying this at first and then it kind of went in a really strange direction and then it got very uncomfortable for me. The book is good. I think that a lot of people would like this book but I personally do not like reading about pedophilia and rape and things like that and there is just probably every trigger warning that you can think of in this book. I just, it's it's not entertaining to me, especially as a parent, to read about certain things. And so I just had to DNF it. It wasn't even really a matter of wanting to. I just had to. So I ended up not rating this and DNF'd it around 200 pages. But I have heard a lot of people liked it. And like I said, I did like it at first. It just went in a direction that I wasn't expecting and that I just wasn't comfortable with. Then for Yellow, I read Velocity by Dean Koontz, and I really liked this book. This is about a man who receives a letter on his car on his way out from work, and there is a note under his windshield, and it says, if you don't take this note to the police, I will kill a lovely blonde school teacher. If you do, I will kill an elderly woman. You have six hours to decide. So it's like a game of cat and mouse throughout the book, and things start to escalate each time and it's just really interesting. I found it to be very good. I realized how much I miss Dean Koontz because I read a ton of his stuff in high school and haven't read a lot since. It did kind of remind me of Intensity by him which was my favorite book that I've ever read by him. One of my top favorites of all time and it's just really action-packed. What I liked is it started out with action and went to the end. It didn't didn't take long to get into the story, which I really enjoyed. I ended up giving it, I think, a four out of five stars. There were times when it got a little bit repetitive and monotonous, and the story started to kind of lag, but overall, I really enjoyed it. For my green book, I was going to read that summer camp book, but I just wasn't in the mood for that because I had finished my blue book and it was like a teenage book and I wasn't in the mood for another YA. So I decided to pick a different green book and I chose Sights Unseen by Kay Gibbons. It has a nice green spine. I am not done with this book. I'm almost done with this book. I have about 50 pages left. This is about a girl who grows up in the 60s. She's telling the story of her childhood 
a woman who's telling a story of her childhood. Her mother has manic depression, and it sounds a lot like bipolar disorder, but it's always described as manic depression. And so she has stages of mania and stages of depression, and then every once in a while she's kind of in that normal stage, but for the most part she goes from one one end of the spectrum to the other. And it's just really, really good. This girl not only has this mother with mental health issues, there's also a lot of other dysfunctional things happening in her family. It's written very well, and I'm loving it. I think it's going to at least be a four out of five stars when I'm done. So like I said, I'm almost done with this one, and that is my green. For my blue book, I chose Popular by Maya Van Wagenen, and this is a nonfiction about a teenage girl who, I believe she's in eighth grade in the book, goes on this experiment to try to be popular based on a book she finds, um, Betty Cornell's Teenage Popularity Guide. She basically does everything that that book says to see if it works and if she becomes popular. It gives you a very good message. My 14-year-old self would have absolutely adored this book. Absolutely. It is very cute, very sweet, very tame. Um, sometimes, and this is a, the mom in me, but sometimes I feel like YA books have too much adult content in them. And this is not, it, it, that's not the case with this. I felt like it was realistic, but it didn't have a lot of that other gritty stuff I personally don't care for. So I liked that. I would absolutely love my daughter to read this book when she gets to her junior high years. I'm going to save it for her to read because it has a really good message about what's on the inside makes much more of a difference than what's on the outside. And I thought it was really good. I gave it three out of five stars just because for me as an adult, it was kind of boring and a little bit slow. I, I just don't enjoy this kind of book as much as I would have. Like I said, had I been in the age intended audience, I would have loved it. But for me, it was a little slow, so, but a very good book. And lastly, for purple, I read Less Is More by Wendy Lawton. This is a Christian fiction, very, very underrated. I think I was the first person to put an actual written review for this book on Goodreads. It's about a girl named Abigail whose father dies, and she and her mother move to San Francisco to live with their grandmother, and she has to go to a new school, and she goes to her youth group at her church and kids are not very nice and she's overweight because she's been emotionally eating. And so she gets the opportunity to go on a television show, a reality show called Less Is More. It's kind of like The Biggest Loser and it goes from there and she learns a lot along the way. Another book with a very good message for teenage girls. It, it was really good. I enjoyed this. I think I gave it three out of five again just because entertainment value it wasn't the most exciting book but it is very sweet and another book that I would love my daughter to read someday pretty wholesome which I personally like and yeah it was a cute very short little book so those are all the books that I read for the rainbow thon I had a lot of fun it was great I did read a lot this week and I'm ready to just kind of slow down because I felt like I was reading constantly but I did enjoy it. So here's my rainbow that I almost completed and I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!